Hi, my name is Jenna Banks and I am done with mom guilt. Let me tell you a story about my journey to getting there. My son had turned 21. I was really excited for him. I got him a ticket to this concert called Coachella. It was $500. I was so excited for him to go. It was a big, big birthday. He goes and he ends up doing some drugs. I, he, he had never told me he'd ever done drugs before. So that was the last thing I expected. He's on the on his way back home, okay? And I call him, I'm so excited to talk to him and hear about how his experience was. Come to find out, he just didn't sound like himself and he sounded a little bit like incoherent and I could tell he probably did some drugs. So I asked him point blank and he admitted to doing molly and mushrooms. And of course I was quite upset about it, but I figured I'd deal with it later and just let him come down because he was not his normal self at that time. So he ends up coming home, days pass. As I'm talking to him on the phone, he's not getting better. In fact, he's getting worse. Mom panic starts to kick in. I get his dad on the phone. I had just moved to Atlanta, Georgia, all the way across the US from California. I call his dad who's still in LA and I'm like, please take him to the hospital. There's something wrong. He takes him, they can't figure out anything out. I have him take him to some doctors to do blood work, nothing. So I drop everything. I had just moved across the country. I'm panicking at this point. I hop on a plane, I go to California. I'm trying to get him help, but he doesn't seem to improve. And so I'm spending time getting him to college, getting him to his classes. I have to get back to my business. I fly back to Atlanta. Long story short, it didn't get better. In fact, it got worse. And all this mom guilt, was plaguing me, right? Because I had worked so hard. I had so much of my identity wrapped up in how my son turned out, right? Like we want our kids to have the best life. And I had gotten him into, I'd helped him get to a great college. He was the youngest camera operator that this helicopter company had ever hired. He got that job at the age of 19. His career path looks amazing. And now I'm thinking, oh my God, is all this going to fade away? The mom guilt had such a grip on me. Over time, come to find out, he ended up getting diagnosed with psychosis. He stopped taking care of his hygiene. And of course, I wanted to start self-sacrificing to get him back to this place of where I had in my mind pictured I wanted him to be. Like his life was my responsibility and now it's my responsibility to get him back on his feet. But what was happening was I found that this mom guilt, this self-sacrificing behavior was causing me to suffer, my life to suffer. My business started suffering. I was in a depression for months. I was in a funk. All my relationships suffered. I didn't wanna go anywhere or do anything. And so I, one day, it hit me. I was like, this situation is taking both of us down and I have the, I have my life to live. I have a great life ahead of me and I need to get back to living my life. And so I had to kind of let that go to the universe, help get him as much help as I could. But ultimately he ended up getting on food stamps, California state health insurance, disability. And you know what, as a mom, I chose not to feel guilty about that because his life is not a reflection of me. These are his choices. This was his life path and I had to do what was best for me and still live my own best life. And guess what? Our relationship is amazing. We still have a really good bond as a mother and son, but I don't have my identity wrapped up in how he turned out anymore. And that became a really loving place to have a great relationship with him. As a result of letting go of the mom guilt, I was able to flourish in my business, flourish as an individual, grow my relationships, spend time with other people again, be happy, live my best life. I not only flourished in my business, I sold that company a few years later for half a million dollars. Now I'm the author of the book, I Love Me More, How to Find Happiness and Success Through Self-Love. I'm speaking, I'm helping other women understand that mom guilt does not need to have a grip on us, that we need to love ourselves. It's our duty to love ourselves and make ourselves a priority, even when we're moms.